Now we're going to the weather center. We're on to David Boyd. The tropics very active. Everyone watching what's going to happen with Helene. David, this is turning into quite a big storm. It'll have a big impact on us. And even tropical moisture out ahead of it that's going to be impacting us today and tomorrow. But here's the latest on Tropical Storm Helene as of the 2 a.m. update. Winds of 60, gusts of 70, moving northwest at 10. Forecast to become a hurricane very soon. And then a major hurricane making landfall in Florida Thursday evening. Then racing to the north and it will be impacting our weather going into Thursday night and Friday. So heavy rain out ahead of it. And then a final round of some downpours Friday morning along with some gusty winds. Thursday night into Friday morning. My full Storm Track 5 forecast is coming up in a few minutes. Today through Friday are all Storm Track 5 weather alert days with the risk of flooding and also the gusty wind risk will be picking up Thursday night and lasting through at least Friday afternoon. Yesterday the high 84, the low 66, so both well above normal yesterday. Outside now, many of us have wet roads at 68 in the Tri-Cities, another mild start. And we're seeing a, a few scattered showers over northeast Tennessee, but scattered thunderstorms over southwest Virginia, some heavy rains and spots, including over Lebanon with several cloud ground lightning strikes recently. So you track it into the future, we'll see some more scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms through the morning and into the afternoon. Same thing, scattered rain and storms likely, some downpours in spots and more rounds of rain going through tonight. Highs today looks to be cooler with all the clouds and the rain. Many of us in the low to mid 70s for highs today and the lows tonight in the low to middle 60s. So your threat tracker in the high category today through Friday with the daily threat of flooding and the winds will be picking up tomorrow strongest Thursday night and into Friday as well the rain finally tapering off Friday afternoon and evening taking a look at the winds they'll be picking up Thursday here's 11 p.m. first in the mountains and then for Friday early in the morning notice the gust in the mountains 50 to 60 miles an hour and continuing into Friday uh, rest of the morning and in the tri-cities we can see gusts over 40 miles an hour potentially and that will taper off later Friday afternoon and especially in to Friday evening and the uh, rainfall uh, flooding maps are going to be updating here. So here's the risk for Thursday, a moderate risk of flooding, Tennessee, North Carolina mountains, high risk in the Asheville area. And as we look into the south, we're going to be watching some of this tropical moisture that's going to be feeding northward out ahead of an area of low pressure to our west. And that's helping to produce all this rain. So while the core of Helene is expected to stay to our west, we will be seeing impacts here. And we'll see so those rounds of rain through Thursday morning, heavy at times. Occasional rain continues Thursday and during the day, Thursday night. Now, we may see some breaks in the rain Thursday night and early Friday morning. Then here comes the core of Helene pushing right over us Friday morning. And then rain tapers off. Friday afternoon with just a few spotty showers the rest of the day. Look at these rainfall totals through Friday. Many locations expected to see three to six inches with the mountain areas getting anywhere from five to ten inches of rain. So that's why the flood risk will be increasing and staying high the next few days. In the mid 70s today, periods of rain, scattered storms and downpours. Lows tonight around 63. Rain heavy at times. High rain chances Thursday and into Friday morning. Finally drying out later Friday. A low chance for a shower, too, on Saturday. It's more scattered, lighter showers Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Highs mainly in the 70s over the next several days.